okay guys welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to be building a simple autocorrect python program that means if we make any mistake in a text this python program is going to automatically correct it so now for us to do this we need a python library called text blob so let's go ahead to install that let's open a new terminal and type pip3 install text blob But note that if you are on a Windows, type only pip install text block. Do not add pip3. Now you should write requirement already certified that because I have it installed already. But if you don't have it installed, make sure you allow that to install. So now first do this. Let's first install the library. You say from text block install. I mean sorry, import text block. Now let's specify the incorrect sentence or word. So let's give it like words is equals to text blob. And we're going to open a bracket. Then let's give it an incorrect sentence. Now you see it says I am. This am is supposed to be only am good at developing sites. Obviously, you can see these misspelled words in this sentence. Now let's auto correct it. So first to do, we'll say words equals to words dot correct now when we print words automatically this should correct this spelling now you see it says I am good at developing sites it didn't add all the grammatical blunders or errors it automatically corrected it that's the power of this library is very good, but it also has some faults like Let's say someone spelled Python like this instead of adding O You see it's corrected to auto correct it to path sometimes yeah, we know it might have some fault But that doesn't that's a disclaimer, but that doesn't doubt the fact that it's a very great Library now we can try this with some other sentences or let's make it more cool by Telling the user, let's say input. We're going to ask the user to input, then we're going to automatically correct. Enter your word or words. So we're going to automatically correct this. The user is first going to input some a word or a sentence. Let me change it to sentence. Then this program is automatically going to correct any error we see there. So now let's run this again. Now let's say, let's give it um, let's say America. Any R I C A. So I didn't add I. Let's see. It automatically corrected it to America. I added A M E R C A. But as you can see, it says E A M E R I C A. Let's run that again and try some other cool ones. Let's say my country. I put county instead of country. Okay, that might be a word. Let's say C O U T R I. Country is. Mm, let's give it its name. Now let's enter. Now it says my country is stay. These are the the bugs i was talking about now we meant italy but say stay but that doesn't mean now let's try to run this again mm, let's say my continent we didn't add an i let's say east africa now that's corrected it perfectly it says my continent is africa now that's the power of this library I hope you guys learned something with this video. If you did, please don't forget to smash the like button and please click on the subscribe button so you get notified when I drop new videos. And if you have any questions, please don't forget to drop it down in the comments. I'll be sure to answer your questions. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.